I don't think the U.S. government has fully disclosed everything they know. And what I think is important is that we, through science, through the Foster Ranch Project, we get to the bottom of something that's perplexed many Americans. The question as to whether or not our United States government has actively set up some type of a program that conceals information about extraterrestrial civilization or the UFO phenomena, uh, I believe that it's absolutely certain. It's beyond uh, just a probability. I feel that they've been waiting until several of us old white hairs die off who were there. Then they can say anything they want because there's no one to refute them. In October of 2002, the Sci-Fi Channel and former Clinton Chief of Staff John Podesta held a joint press conference in Washington, D.C., demanding the U.S. government release its files on unidentified flying objects. It's time to find out what, what the truth really is that's out there. Uh, we ought to do it really because it's right. We ought to do it because the American people, quite frankly, can handle the truth. And we ought to do it because it's the law. The Foster Ranch dig has been a symbolic first step, melding science with what was formerly pseudoscience, the hunt for solid evidence of UFOs on Earth. The team leaves the dig site with as many new questions as answers. Questions which are all the more poignant for those with personal ties to the Roswell incident. I think it's very important people know about what happened here in Roswell. It happened and it was shielded and hidden. I want to know why. What happened? And that's what I want. Well, birthday 80 years old, I want to find out before I die. To say, I hope that we find the truth, we may find things and still not know the truth. But I'm hoping that we make some small difference in the body of knowledge about what happened in Roswell. And I'm having a good time just talking to my dad. Our solar system is just a grain of sand tucked away in an out-of-the-way place in a very ordinary galaxy. What this has left me with is the knowledge that we certainly are not alone in, our, in the universe or even in our galaxy. The fact of the matter is, it may well be the most important single public policy issue in our entire lifetimes. People just don't know it yet, but they will. I want our people to be prepared for this so that we can take our place as full and equal citizens in a galactic civilization. While the Roswell mystery remains unsolved, it's clear that the case file should not be closed. Dave Rudiak's reading of the Ramey memo indicates at the very least that the government hasn't shared all it knows about that night in July of 47. The Foster Ranch dig produced unexplained disturbances in the soil and 66 bags of unidentified artifacts, all of which cry out for further investigation. Log on to sci-fi.com for updates on that research. But even if the ultimate answer to the Roswell riddle doesn't come out of the earth at the Foster Ranch, something else already has. The beginning of a marriage between science and science fiction, one that may prove vital as we seek the truth in an uncertain future. I'm Bryant Gumbel. Thanks so very much for joining us.